Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody, Coast to Coast, This Week in America. It's being called a must-read and excellently written novel with an intriguing storyline. It's the mystery fiction The Darker Side of Love by J. Chanel Evans. A family is devastated by the sudden unexplained illness and death of their mother, Caroline. The cause of the death initially is unknown, and tensions rise over a dispute for an autopsy. When the cause of death is revealed, their already strained relationship is torn apart as suspicions arise from among them. Did their mother commit suicide, or was she murdered? Virginia, the eldest daughter, is determined to find out the truth. Supported by her husband, Jack, and assisted by her only brother, Luke, she digs deeper and uncovers a darkness in their family that will change their lives forever. Joan Chanel Evans was born in the Bahamas. She's the author of three books from different genres, poetry and drama, inspiration and mystery fiction. She's worked in church ministry for 38 years, beginning as a teenager. She's been writing even before that. She was a community activist in her hometown of North Andros in the early years, now an accountant by profession. She's CFO at her home church in the Nassau, Bahamas. J. Chanel Evans, author of The Darker Side of Love, is back with us on This Week in America. Joan, welcome back to the program. It's a pleasure to have you with us. And it's a pleasure to be back. I'm looking forward to our interview today. Well, this will be fun. We're talking about The Darker Side of Love, a different genre than when we had Joan on last time talking about one of her books. And we'll mention that as we go through the program. But I, I'm fascinated by the story that you're telling. I love going through this and didn't want to give away too much. But you've, you've got a, a brilliant tale that you're, you're telling there, so well written. What was the inspiration for The Darker Side of Love? Actually, it's, well, all of my writings seem to come out of almost nowhere because it was, I was challenged by a friend of mine to enter a short story competition. So I started writing the short story and, you know, as I sat down, the plot just started to come to me and I kept writing and writing and writing. And before I knew it, I had exceeded the limit for the short story. So I said, okay, I I can't submit this as a short story anymore, so I'll just keep writing and see where it goes. So I kept writing, and the story just developed as I wrote. I, it was so amazing that when I sat down to write, I was looking forward to my day of writing to see what was <laughs> what was going to happen. So I really didn't know the story basically wrote itself. You know, that's interesting. As a reader, we can't wait to get to the next chapter to see what's happening as an author, in this case, that's the same with you. You couldn't wait to write it to see where it was going exactly. to go, obviously. Exactly. And it's so fascinating. It started as a short story, and all of a sudden now, it's a book that's receiving excellent reviews, The Darker Side of Love, J. Chanel Evans. Book available at Amazon, the usual places. We'll give you that information as we as we go through the program. You're bringing this book out and, uh, and bringing it out publicly during a time that's that's challenging. We've got the the pandemic that we're that we're facing, the normal challenges of publishing a book. Talk about that. What you've had to go through for the last year to get the darker side of love in bookstores. It has been a journey to say the least, because the book was first released in January of last year. Um, the company I, that I was working with, they were supposed to release it in ebook form and paperback form. So the ebook was released first, and the paper book was to follow. And then the, the pandemic came about, and it's like things got lost. I, the communication with the company got fewer and fewer. And each time I wrote, and um, they would say, I, I wrote to follow up on the paperback release and they were saying that there was some delay with Amazon because of the pandemic things were a bit slower and so eventually I was not able to get in contact with the company anymore that produced the book and the book was never released in paperback so it's only been on Amazon in ebook form and after a while I got a email from another company a promotional company who wanted to promote the book and to get interviews and so forth for it. So I was happy that something else was now going to happen. So I made the preparations with that company and I guess the same thing happened. 
as we got set, as we were getting yes. set to put things into motion, then I lost contact with that company. I'm concerned that whether both companies had to close down because of the pandemic, I don't know, but I've not been able to hear from them. So the book has been left quite a bit in limbo, and um, it's just been out there. And I'd given up on it, actually. I'd given up on doing anything with it. And then one day I got a text message from someone who had read it. And they, the message simply said, I've just finished reading your book, and it was so amazing. So I wrote back. I said, thank you. I said, um, can you tell me which book um, you're referring to? Because I was not thinking about the darker side of love. I because like I said, I had given up on the book altogether. And they wrote back and they said, The Darker Side of Love. So I said, how did you come by it? And they said, well, they just purchased it from Amazon a few days ago. So I said, it's still on Amazon? Because after I had not heard from the company, the last email correspondence with the company that produced it, I had requested them to pull the ebook since nothing was happening with it. And I thought that they had. So I was thinking that the book was no longer out there. But after I got that text message, and so I went on Amazon and I looked, and and it was there. So I decided that okay, the book is still getting good reviews. So let me try and see if I can have it released in paperback form. So I started that process to look at how I can have it done. But you know, it's it's, it's been amazing. A journey. Well, yeah, a little behind the scenes of what happens. The creative part is is one aspect of it, isn't it? But it's the it's the business part of it and getting it out there. And it doesn't always go as smooth as smoothly as you would like. Obviously, some bumps in the road. But you're back with the book now again, getting excellent reviews. It's sort of like a second life for this book, isn't it? it uh, it's got to be exciting to see the interest in the darker side of love. It is like it has a second. The book has a life of its own because <laughs> every time I try to give up on it, it comes back up. It would not let it would not let yes. me give up on it. So at this point, I'm saying, okay, I will go all the way. The book wants to go all the way, and I will go all the way with it. What's it like to put a launch team together? Again, a little behind the scenes of what goes into the publication of a book. You've got, to, it's not just uh, saying, okay, here's my book, somebody come buy it. Talk about what goes into what you're, what you're going through for the, the relaunch, basically, of The Darker Side of Love. Yes, that, that, that in itself is interesting because after I decided to really push to get the book in paperback and have it re reissued. I started doing research on the internet to see what would be involved in that process and I came across um an ad for a webinar and I did the webinar and they were talking about how to get your book published and how to get it re um have your book relaunched. And at the end of the webinar you they offered a free coaching call. So I applied for the free coaching call, and during the process of talking with the coach, the coach then started to tell me what I needed to do. He said he looked at my books on Amazon, and he saw that I did not have um, a, a lot of reviews there. He asked me, um, what did my launch, book launch team do? So I said, a book launch team. I didn't know about a book launch team, so uh, then he yes. started telling me about what a book launch team was. So I went and I formulated, I got a group of persons together. He said, get a group of readers, persons who would be interested in that genre that I'm writing in, and to submit them my manuscript in, of course, in PDF form for them to read it and give their reviews. So I I did. I selected a number of persons, and I sent the manuscript. I, first of all, I contacted them and asked them if they'd be willing to be a part of my book launch team, and they agreed. So I sent them the manuscript, and they read it, and they sent me back their responses. But the book launch team is basically to do the reviews, and then on the day that you the book is released, they are to then write their reviews on Amazon or wherever the book is being released, and they will give their reviews there. 
It's amazing what goes on in getting a book out. People pick up a copy of the book, they read it, enjoy it, have no idea what all goes into <laughs> it, besides the aspect of putting a, a great story together, which is what uh, Joan has done. J. Chanel Evans, the author's name. The book is The Darker Side of Love. You'll find it at Amazon, uh, the usual places. Like kind of if you go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Talk a little bit about uh, about your writing. I mentioned the three different genres. Talk about the other books that you you've written because you you really you're not just sort of a, a mystery writer here, are you? You've got uh, you've got a lot of skills. I guess you can simply say that I'm a writer. Period. Because I've dabbled in poetry in my early days. The first things I began writing were poems. I started writing poetry from I was in the second grade. So I've been writing poems, and as I grew older, I got into reading a lot of mystery novels by Nancy Drew, Hattie Boys, Enid Blinder, and famous uh, books on the Famous Five. And I got fascinated with mystery, and I wanted to write mystery. So in, I had these aspirations. Even though I wrote poetry, I had the aspirations of being a mystery writer. So I've done the mystery, and... As a part of my Christian journey, I've done, I've written devotionals, I've done little talks with our prayer, our ladies' prayer group. So I started putting into print the things that I would have presented at the prayer groups and the articles that I would have written for our church magazine. So that is where my devotional book came out of my writing and my work in church ministry. So I love doing all aspects of it, and I still have that dream of writing a children's series. So that's why I said you can basically call me a writer because also I'm presently um, writing two biographies. So it's like every day I wake up, there's a new idea to do some <laughs> kind of writing. And, you know, I just try to do them, doing biographies on, on two of my brothers who I believe have I've given a whole lot to society, and people need to hear about them. So I'm doing their biography along with my personal projects. That's just amazing, all that you've got going. How difficult is it to uh, to work all of this writing into your, your daily life? Do you set aside time to write? How does, how does that work? What's the process like when you get an idea? they got the biography of your brother. How do you go about actually creating the, uh, the story? Well, what I've had to do, I've set up a schedule. I have one day is for one brother. I sit and I I talk to him by telephone while he's talking to me. I'm writing what he's telling me, so that's his day. I have another, I have the next day schedule for my writing, so I concentrate on that. The other day I have for my other brother's biography, so I communicate with him on it and I put the time into that and the other times I just work with my my um, editing because I'm working on the editing of the darker side of love for its release a second release so I'm doing that so I have it almost like in a calendar I'm scheduling time so I work still work nine to five but in the afternoons I have a schedule like when I get home in the afternoon I'm putting in the time with my writing or sometimes I'm up very late at night doing my <laughs> writing, so I just try to fill it in. But it's like my mind will not stop wanting to write. Well, I can understand that. And once you get going and developing the characters, and I love and uh, the reviews have been excellent on the character development in The Darker Side of Love. Talk about in in and how you went about that. And I understand it started as a short story and sort of took on a life of its own, but... Were these characters clearly defined to you in the beginning before you started, or was that a, a process of, of evolution as well as you went through that? They all evolved as the story evolved. And it's just amazing. I guess it's difficult to explain how it happened, because when it started out, the only two characters that were structured for me was Caroline and her husband. They were the two structured um, characters, and, well, and the... A third one was the daughter. So it was the, the husband, the wife, and the daughter. And the other persons, the other characters, they just evolve as supporting roles, keep coming up as, a, as the story developed. You know, each time I sit down to write, another character came up and different aspects of the character's personality came out with each time I sat down to write. So they were evolving. It's not like I sat down and I had a plan. I said, this is how this character is going to be. 
it was not like that. Well, that really works for you. I mean, that really was the way to do it. And I guess it was your enthusiasm and the story, your imagination that took it where these very interesting places that the reader will enjoy as they're reading The Darker Side of Love. J. Chanel Evans, that's S-H-A-N-N-E-L-L Evans. Book available at uh, Amazon. Go to our website. You can link on, get all the information there as well. You've created plenty of tension, a lot of action. You've got uh, really fascinating dialogue that moves the story along. Does that come to you in the beginning, or is there a period where you go back and you do some edits and you you, you maybe tighten things up or add a little more drama here than you had initially? How do, how does how does that happen? How do you set that up? Well, I wrote it out, and then there are times, like sometimes I'm driving to work or I'm moving about, and I'm thinking about the book, and it, and the thought will come, maybe it should be said this way, or I should change this aspect of it. So it's a lot that I go back, I went back, and I adjusted pieces as, you know, as like I said, my mind is always writing, so as the story kept going in my mind, even when I was not at, the, at my laptop typing, the developments that came in my mind, I would go back and I would make the adjustments and do the cleanups and and plug them in. So that is how that happened. How difficult, how challenging is it to do dialogue? You often wonder, sometimes you talk to authors that they go back and they have to heavily edit because they get a little bit wordy. They're trying to move the story, but they're giving too much information. Do you enjoy writing the dialogue? I enjoy writing. Yes, I enjoy writing the dialogue. Um, sometimes I get a little stuck with trying to do the writing, do the explanation, and sometimes I, because I want to focus on making people understand with the explanation, I spend a, too much time on that. That's one of the things that I, my editor pointed out, and she helped me to adjust. She says some things you don't have to describe. the con- It comes out in the conversation. You allow the reader to interpret what's happening by the word through the dialogue. So she made me to recognize that dialogue is really, really important and to, to focus on the dialogue and not so much on the background description. It's interesting because I, I think that's so true. As a reader, you sort of fill in the blanks with some of these people as you're reading. And if you talk to 10 people who read the same same story the same about the same person, they'd probably come up with different uh, characteristics and, and background just from their, their imagination. It's so fascinating how you go about writing a book. I love this story, The Darker Side of Love, a book that had to be written, had to be published, and, and now it is. It's available. I, it's a very visual book. I see this could be a very easily a, a television movie, that that type of thing. Uh, and it sounds like you're, I was going to ask future projects, what you're working on. Your plate's full, isn't it? You've got a number of things you're working on. <laughs> yes, my plate is really full. I Because even with these, I have an outline for another mystery book, that, but I will not begin that until after I've completed the biographies. And I just must get the children's book out there because that's in there and it's been on me. I've been really wanting to get that out. So after I've done the release with The Darker Side of Love, I've completed the biographies. The next thing will have to be to get the children's book out there and then I'll work on my next mystery. But and I try to keep my mind from thinking of new projects because the projects just keep coming. They just keep coming to me. <laughs> a, a, a yellow legal pad filled of ideas that you're going to write about uh, coming up here. And you've got so many things that uh, seem to be imminent. I'm really looking forward to talking about uh, the biography, the children's book, all of the work out there. This is uh, the new book from J. Chanel Evans. It's The Darker Side of Love. You'll find the book available at Amazon, the usual places. If you go to our website, This Week in America, Dot us you'll be able to link on directly to the amazon page and uh, get information on this book by joan j chanel evans as well as the others joan it is always a pleasure i'm glad we had this chance to talk about this book the darker side of love hopefully we'll be able to do it again in the future uh, best of luck thank you so much for being with us on the program and thank you so much for having me. It has been our pleasure. The Darker Side of Love, J. Chanel Evans, book available at Amazon. And, of course, information on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. We're back on today's program after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. 
Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again, thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.